Alright, hey YouTube, in this video today I'm going to be- oh, forgot to mention my name. I'm Abigail Snugglelots if you haven't already noticed. I mean, you probably noticed because we're watching this video and I created this video and, you know, I'm being totally awkward right now, but you know, it's what whatevs, it's what whatevs, it's what whatevs, you know, it's what whatevs. That's what I say, because it's an amazing word, whatevs. <laughs> Okay, so today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download the Firestorm Viewer for Second Life. Because I do play Second Life and I'm going to be doing more videos on Second Life. And before I start going into this video at all, I need to tell you a bit about Second Life. It's a virtual game that is meant for adults. Don't worry, there's a lot of PG stuff on here that you can go to and play. Because I like to roleplay as the daughter of someone, or whatever, in the game. Because, you know, we do that on iView too, but I don't do that on iView because, you know, iView is boring as fuck. So, huh, get on. Let's get on with this video. Okay. So, a little disclaimer, if you are under the age of 18, you should not play this game without adult supervision. Um, yes. So, let's get into, you know, helping you download the Firestorm Viewer. I'm gonna open up a browser. Firestormviewer.org is the site you want to go to. Don't worry, I'll have all the links in the description below. Then once you're at the site, it should look something like this. Then click downloads. It's a little button here. Okay. And then, since I use Windows, I would click this. This little thing over here. And then, this is the one I downloaded, 32-bit Havoc. So you would click that. But I'm not going to click that because I've already downloaded this and I'm just going to go to this back real quick. Alright, you know, you would click that and stuff. And I'm just waiting for this thing to close. Closing. It's logging out. Alright, and then, yes, yes, yes. And that's basically how you download it. And whenever you open it up, it should look something like... It should look something around like this, but it's not fully loaded yet. So that's not what it's gonna look like. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> Alright, so you know, 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 okay. Okay, and in the next video I'm making, I will be doing a video on how to create a Second Life account and a bit more into explaining Second Life and how to do certain stuff. And if you have any questions or need any help, let me know in the comments below or contact me in the Second Life world. And I'm usually addicted to this game, so I'm on it like a lot. And I will also be doing another video. Well, I probably shouldn't do that. A lot of others have done that video. But, I don't know, I guess I could do it, but then, you know, I'm just going to do the video anyway. It is on how to stop your second life screen from flickering every time you play the game. Yeah, it basically goes for any game. It's very simple. Very simple step. I don't really do any Minecraft videos, though, because, you know, I'm, I'm bored of Minecraft. And I've always been bored of Minecraft. I only get on it whenever I'm extremely bored. Is that wrong? Nah, probably is, whatever. Okay, bye-bye, my lovely YouTuber!